Ever dreamt of reducing your taxes to zero? Well, today is your lucky day. In this eye-opening video, we're spilling the secrets on how to reduce taxes to zero like the rich. Yes, it's legal. We're diving deep into the world of tax optimization, revealing the strategies the wealthy use to keep more of their hard-earned cash. Curious about income shifting, offshore tax havens, or legal loopholes in Europe? We've got it all covered. But here's the catch. We're not just talking theory. We're bringing it to life with captivating stories and real examples. So grab a pen, take notes, and get ready to transform your financial game. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss the actionable insights coming your way. Ready to make your wallet smile? Let's get started by understanding taxation basics from how to reduce taxes to zero like the rich. Taxes, my friends, are like the bills of the government. They need money to keep things running smoothly. Roads, schools, hospitals, you name it. Now, there are different types of taxes, but let's focus on the big players, income tax and capital gains tax. Now, income tax is like a sliding scale. The more you make, the more you pay. It's the government's way of saying, hey, you're doing well, so contribute a bit more, okay? But here's the twist. The rich, they've got some tricks up their sleeves to navigate this scale and pay a smaller percentage. Sneaky, huh? Imagine you and your friend Joe. You both make the same amount. But Joe has a few clever moves. He invests. He plans. Legally, of course, and suddenly his taxable income is looking much smaller than yours. It's like a magic show where the numbers disappear. Now let's talk about capital gains tax. This one kicks in when you make money from selling stuff, like stocks or real estate. The government wants a slice of that profit pie. But here's the catch. The rich, they play the game differently. They time their sales. They use special accounts. And voila! They end up handing less money to Uncle Sam. Moving on to the progressive nature of income tax. It's like a stairway to financial heaven or, well, you know where. The higher you go, the more you contribute. But guess what? The rich have mastered the art of taking those stairs two at a time while the rest of us are stuck on the ground floor. Picture it like this. You're in a race and the rich people are on the track with hurdles. They jump, they dodge, and suddenly they're at the finish line with a smaller tax bill. Meanwhile, the average Joe is still figuring out how to clear the first hurdle. Now, don't get me wrong, we're not promoting any illegal stunts here. We're just highlighting how the rich legally make the tax system work for them. It's like a game, and they know the rules better than anyone else. So, taxes are the bills we pay to keep the country ticking. Income tax and capital gains tax are the big players, and the rich have some crafty moves to dance through the tax maze. Now let's talk about tax planning versus tax evasion, the next topic from how to reduce taxes to zero. Imagine you're managing a pizza joint and you want to make sure you pay your fair share of taxes without getting burnt. Tax planning is like crafting the perfect pizza recipe, choosing the right ingredients, proportions, and cooking time. It's about legally arranging your financial affairs to minimize your tax bill. So you're not avoiding taxes altogether. You're just optimizing the recipe for your financial success. On the other side, tax evasion is the equivalent of sneaking a few extra slices into the box without telling anyone. It's the shady business that gets you into hot water with the tax authorities. Remember, it's not about finding loopholes. It's about blatantly breaking the rules. And let's be real. That's a recipe for disaster. To put it in the words of the legendary investor Warren Buffett, a man who knows a thing or two about making dough, the difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything. In our case, saying no to illegal shortcuts is the key to long-term financial success. Picture this scenario. You're playing a game of Monopoly and you want to win fair and square. Tax planning is like strategically placing your hotels on Boardwalk and Park Place, maximizing your profits within the rules. Tax evasion, on the other hand, is like slipping a few extra bills under the board when no one's looking, a move that might give you a temporary advantage, but will eventually lead to consequences. So why does this matter to you? Well, avoiding tax evasion and embracing tax planning is not just about staying out of trouble. It's about building a strong financial foundation. It's like constructing a house. You want it to withstand the test of time, not crumble under legal pressure. 
In the grand scheme of things, tax planning is your GPS, guiding you through the winding roads of the tax landscape. It's about taking legal detours to reach your financial destination with as much money in your pocket as possible. Think of tax evasion as blindly driving off-road, sure. It might be a shortcut, but it's filled with pitfalls, and you'll likely end up stuck in the mud of legal consequences. So let's make an agreement, guys. Choose the path of tax planning, not the treacherous trail of tax evasion. It's not just about avoiding trouble. It's about steering your financial ship towards smooth waters. Now let's talk about a fascinating concept that might sound like magic, but is actually a well-practiced art in the world of reducing taxes to zero income-shifting strategies. It's like a strategic dance with your money, aimed at minimizing your tax burden. Picture this scenario. You're not a magician. You're just smart with your finances. So imagine you're sitting around the dinner table with your family and Uncle Sam decides to join the conversation by taking a slice of your income. Here's where income shifting comes into play. It's like a friendly game of pass the parcel, but instead of music, we're dealing with money. Legally passing income among family members can be a game changer in the tax reduction playbook. Now let me introduce you to the Thompsons, our imaginary family on a mission to pay as little in taxes as legally possible. They've mastered the art of income shifting strategies. Let's call it the Thompson Tango. Imagine Mr. Thompson, a high earner, sharing the financial dance floor with Mrs. Thompson and their two kids. By strategically distributing their income among family members, they're able to hit the right moves and pay fewer taxes collectively. This isn't about hiding money under the mattress or playing hide and seek with the tax authorities. It's about using legal avenues to make your money work smarter for you. Now, I know what you're thinking, but is this legal? Absolutely. This isn't a loophole. It's a well-defined step in the tax code. The government encourages family support, and this is just a way of recognizing that support in your tax bill. And here comes the twist in our tax-saving tango, family trusts. Think of them as your financial guardian angels. The Thompsons, being savvy financial dancers, have also embraced the power of family trusts. These trusts act like shields, protecting their hard-earned money from unnecessary taxes. It's not about being secretive. It's about being strategic. Now let's connect the dots back to our title, How to Reduce Taxes to Zero Like the Rich Legally. The Thompsons are the proof that you can indeed reduce your taxes to zero legally, just like the wealthy do. It's not about evading taxes. It's about understanding the rules of the game and playing it in your favor. So the next time someone tells you about the Thompsons and their tax-saving tango, remember, it's not fiction. It's a real strategy that savvy individuals use to keep more money in their pockets. And just like any dance, mastering income shifting takes practice. But the rewards are well worth it. All right, let's move to the next strategy. On how to reduce taxes to zero, that is, offshore tax havens. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. Imagine you're setting sail on the high seas of taxation and your ship is named Financial Freedom. Now, in our little adventure, we're going to introduce you to Captain Cayman. Yes, Captain Cayman is not a pirate, but a savvy financial character, sailing the legal waters of offshore tax havens. Picture this. You've earned your gold doubloons, and you want to keep as much as possible. That's where Captain Cayman's island comes into play. Offshore tax havens are like islands with special rules. Rules that can help you legally keep more of your treasure. Now, these islands aren't just scattered randomly across the globe. They're in specific jurisdictions known for their favorable tax laws. Think of them as safe harbors for your hard-earned doubloons. Captain Cayman chose his island wisely, not for the coconuts, but for the tax benefits. But how does it work? Let's dive into Captain Cayman's story. Imagine this as your treasure map. So, Captain Cayman, a resident of a high-tax country, decides to park some of his wealth on an island that offers lower tax rates, Here's the catch. It's not a hide-and-seek game with tax authorities. Captain Cayman reports his offshore accounts to his home country. The treasure is well guarded, but it's not hidden. It's like having a backup vault in a tax-friendly paradise. Now you might wonder, is this legal? Absolutely. 
Captain Cayman is sailing within the legal waters, following the tax rules of both his home country and the offshore haven. It's like having a passport for each financial destination. But remember, fellow sailors, not all islands are created equal. Some are more transparent and have solid reputations, while others might raise a few eyebrows. Captain Cayman did his due diligence and chose wisely. It's not just about the tax breaks. It's about the stability of the island. So why do individuals venture into these offshore adventures? It's not about dodging taxes, but about optimizing them. The money you save can be reinvested or used for your financial goals. Captain Cayman isn't evading the tax storm. He's navigating through it strategically. In a nutshell, offshore tax havens are like financial oases. They provide a legal escape for your wealth, ensuring you don't lose a chest full of gold doubloons to heavy taxes. But, and this is crucial, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It depends on your financial goals, your home country's tax laws, and, of course, choosing an island with care. So, there you have it, our offshore adventure with Captain Cayman. Remember, it's not about burying your treasure, it's about protecting it wisely. Now let's talk about something that can be a game changer when it comes to reducing your tax bill, tax credits, and deductions. This isn't some secret society handshake, it's a legitimate way the rich used to pay less to Uncle Sam. And yes, it's completely legal. You know how when you buy something on sale, you end up paying less than the original price? Tax credits and deductions work a bit like that. They're discounts offered by the government to encourage certain behaviors or ease financial burdens. Now remember our title, How to Reduce Taxes to Zero Like the Rich. Well, this is where the magic starts to happen. Let's break it down in simple terms. Tax credits are like direct cash discounts on your taxes. If you qualify for a $1,000 tax credit, it's as good as Uncle Sam handing you a crisp $1,000 bill and saying, here you go, keep it. Deductions, on the other hand, are more like discounts on your taxable income. Imagine you earned $50,000, but you qualify for a $5,000 deduction. Now you only have to pay taxes on $45,000. It's like the government saying, we'll only tax you on what's left after these justified expenses. And here's the sweet spot. You can combine tax credits and deductions to maximize your savings. It's like using multiple coupons at your favorite store. Who doesn't love a good deal? Now there are various tax credits and deductions out there, each serving a unique purpose. For instance, education credits can lighten the load for students or their families. If you've been hitting the books or sending your kids off to do so, there's a good chance you can get some tax relief. Homeownership opens up a treasure chest of deductions, mortgage interest, property taxes. It's like the government giving you a high five for investing in real estate. Charitable contributions are another golden ticket. Give back to the community, and the government might just give you a break on your taxes. It's a win-win. Now, don't be shy about digging into the details. Some credits and deductions are income-based. Others depend on your life circumstances. The key is to stay informed and claim what's rightfully yours. By strategically utilizing tax credits and deductions, you're paving the way to a lower tax bill, just like the wealthy do. So, whether you're a student, a homeowner, a charitable soul, or all of the above, there's a high chance that somewhere in the tax code, there's a benefit waiting for you. The more you know, the more you can keep in your pocket. Now, let's talk about investment strategies for tax efficiency. Our next topic from how to reduce taxes like the rich legally. First up, ever heard of tax-free bonds? These aren't some secret society bonds. They're just investments that let you earn interest without the tax man taking a big chunk. Picture it like planting a money tree in your backyard and the best part, you get to keep all the fruit. Now let's tackle strategic asset allocation. Sounds fancy, right? It's like crafting the perfect recipe for your financial stew. You've got different assets. Stocks, bonds, real estate, and the trick is finding the right mix. Just like a chef balancing flavors, you're balancing risk and reward. It's not about putting all your eggs in one basket. It's about having a diversified buffet. Diversification. Another big word, but it's a game changer. Think of it as having a variety of snacks rather than just one kind. If one investment takes a hit, the others can help balance things out. You wouldn't want all your snacks to taste the same, right? Same goes for your investments. Meet Sarah, our fictional investor. 
She's not just throwing darts at the stock market, she's strategically spreading her money across different types of investments. Some may go up, some may go down, but in the end, it's about the overall performance. Now let's address the elephant in the room, taxes on gains. Imagine your investments are like a lemonade stand. The money you make from selling lemonade is your capital gains. But here's the sweet part. Certain investments get preferential tax treatment. It's like Uncle Sam saying, you know what? You keep more of that lemonade money. Retirement accounts, the unsung heroes of tax efficiency. It's like having a secret savings vault that grows over time. And guess what? The government gives you a little tax break for using it. So it's not just about saving for the golden years. It's about saving on taxes today. Imagine your investments as a team sport. You've got players like Roth IRAs and 401 Ks, each with their strengths. Roth IRAs, for example, play a fence, you put in after tax money, and your gains come out tax-free. It's like scoring without any penalties. On the other hand, 401 ooh, Ks are the defenders. You get a tax break when you put the money in, and it grows tax-deferred until you take it out. It's like having a shield protecting your wealth from immediate tax hits. It's all about making your money work smarter not harder. Tax-efficient investing is like navigating a financial chessboard. You make strategic moves, protect your pieces, and most importantly, keep more of your hard-earned money. All right, let's move to the next subject on how to reduce taxes to zero, that is, business structures for tax optimization. Sounds complex, right? But fear not, we're going to break it down in the simplest way possible. Let me introduce you to Jack, an everyday entrepreneur with a burning desire to save on taxes. Now, Jack's got a successful business, and he's wondering, how can I structure this thing to keep more of my hard-earned cash? Imagine this Jack's facing with three doors, Dr. A, B, and C, each representing a different business structure. Let's open them one by one. Door A swings open, and it's a sole proprietorship. Jack realizes it's simple and easy to manage, but here's the catch. All the business income is his personal income. No buffer, no protection. Taxmen could be lurking around any corner. Now let's swing open door B. It's a partnership. Jack's thinking teamwork, but with great power comes great responsibility. Partnerships mean shared profits, but also shared liabilities. Tax-wise, it's a bit like walking a tightrope, one misstep, and you might find yourself in a financial free fall. Next is Door C, a limited liability company, LLC. Jack's eyes light up. Why? Because an LLC is like having your cake and eating it too. It provides protection for personal assets, a flexible management structure, and most importantly, a buffet of tax benefits. Here's the deal with Jack's LLC. It's a separate legal entity. That means if the business hits a rough patch, Jack's personal assets remain untouched. Plus, the tax flexibility is music to his ears. Jack can choose to be taxed as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or even as a corporation. It's like having a Swiss army knife for taxes. But wait, there's more to this tax optimization story. Jack, being the savvy businessman he is, decides to take it up a notch. He establishes a holding company within the LLC. Think of it as a protective shield around his assets. This holding company allows Jack to own other businesses and assets without exposing everything to potential risks. It's like playing chess, strategic moves to protect his financial kingdom. Now, Jack's not just saving on taxes, he's building a fortress of financial security. The LLC and its holding company become Jack's dynamic duo, battling high taxes and potential risks. So when it comes to business structures for tax optimization, it's not just about choosing a door, it's about crafting a strategy. Jack's journey teaches us that the right structure can be a game changer, providing protection, flexibility, and substantial tax benefits. Now let's talk about a global chess game that can help you minimize those taxes legally. It's like having a secret weapon, tax treaties, and agreements. Trust me, this isn't some secret society handshake. It's a powerful tool for smart financial planning. You might be wondering, what on earth are tax treaties? Well, they're like international agreements between countries, not about sharing recipes or cultural tips, but about tax matters. 
Picture it as countries sitting around a big table, deciding the rules to avoid double taxation. It's a win-win situation for individuals and businesses. So why should you care about these treaties? Say you live in country A but earn income in country B. Without a tax treaty, both countries could want a piece of your hard-earned cash. Now that's like trying to swim with weights on both ankles, not fun. But with tax treaties, it's like having a lifeguard on duty. They ensure that you don't get taxed twice on the same income. Instead, you get a break, a chance to keep more of what you've earned. It's almost like a global agreement saying, let's make sure people aren't unfairly double-dipped. Now let me sprinkle in the title, How to Reduce Taxes to Zero Like the Rich, Legally. Well, the answer lies in mastering these tax treaties. It's a game changer in the quest to reduce taxes to zero, all right, back to the topic. Tax treaties also establish the rules for determining which country gets the taxing rights over specific types of income. Think of it as sharing the pie fairly so that each person receives a portion. These agreements cover various income streams, from business profits to employment income and more. Let me break it down even simpler. Tax treaties create a roadmap for the IRS or its international counterparts to decide who gets to take a slice of your financial pie. It's all about ensuring a fair and square division of tax responsibilities between the countries involved. Now, let's get practical. Imagine you're an entrepreneur with business ties in different countries. Tax treaties become your playbook. They guide you on how to structure your business dealings to optimize tax outcomes. It's not about shady dealings in dimly lit rooms. It's about strategic financial planning on a global scale. So in the grand scheme of things, tax treaties are your secret weapon in the battle against excessive taxation. With the right knowledge and a keen eye on these agreements, you can strategically position yourself to pay less in taxes. It's a legit way to level the playing field and reduce your tax burden. Now let's talk about legal loopholes and strategies in Europe, our next topic. Now, when it comes to navigating the European tax landscape, it's like being handed a complex puzzle. But fear not, we're here to decode it. First off, let's talk about a clever maneuver known as tax-friendly residency. Picture this, you've got a European country offering favorable tax rates to residents. Some savvy individuals strategically choose their residency to take advantage of these lower taxes. It's like picking the right seat at a concert. Location matters. Now, here's a term you might have heard tossed around golden visas. No, it's not a magic ticket, but it does open doors. Some countries in Europe offer residency or citizenship to those who invest a certain amount. It's like upgrading your concert ticket to VIP status, and in return, you get to enjoy some tax perks. Another trick up the sleeve involves the use of holding companies. These are like financial wizards that can help reduce taxes. Imagine you have a business. And instead of dealing with high taxes directly, you set up a holding company in a jurisdiction with friendlier tax rules. It's like having a financial bodyguard shielding your hard-earned money. Now let's talk about the patent box. Sounds mysterious, right? Well, it's not as complex as it sounds. Some European countries offer reduced tax rates on income derived from patents. It's like getting a discount coupon for your intellectual property, a little incentive for those creative minds ever heard of the term R&D tax credits? Research and development R&D efforts can actually be a golden ticket to lower taxes in certain European countries. It's like being rewarded for pushing the boundaries of innovation. If you're investing in making the world a better place through research, some countries want to give you a high five in the form of tax credits. Next up, we've got the non-domiciled status. Fancy term, right? Essentially, it's about where you call home for tax purposes. Some countries allow individuals to be taxed only on the income earned within their borders. It's like having a tax umbrella. You're only getting wet in the areas where it's raining money. Now, let's switch gears to special economic zones. These are designated areas where businesses can enjoy tax incentives and reduced regulations. It's like having a tax oasis in the financial desert. Businesses can flourish with a bit of strategic relocation. Next, we've got double taxation treaties. Sounds a bit daunting, but it's a powerful tool. European countries often sign agreements to prevent individuals from being taxed twice on the same income. It's like shaking hands with your neighboring countries and saying, let's not tax our citizens twice. That's not cool. 
All right, let's dive deep into the real-life tax tales of some famous faces. We're not holding back on the details. It's time to spill the beans on how they did it. First up, the man of the hour, Elon Musk. Beyond sending rockets to the moon, Musk has mastered the art of maximizing tax credits. When it comes to his electric car company, Tesla, Musk takes full advantage of the federal tax credit for electric vehicles. By continuously pushing the boundaries of innovation and meeting specific criteria, Tesla buyers qualify for tax breaks, creating a win-win scenario that fuels both green transportation and Musk's bank account. Now, let's talk about the queen of media, Oprah Winfrey. Her tax strategy is as brilliant as her career. She established the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for girls in South Africa, not just out of philanthropy, but also as a smart tax move. Donations to charitable foundations often come with tax deductions, allowing her to contribute to a cause she believes in while enjoying financial benefits in return. Moving on to Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha. His tax expertise involves playing the long game with investments, by holding on to his stocks for the long term, Buffett benefits from the lower capital gains tax rates. This strategy aligns perfectly with his philosophy of buy and hold, where patience isn't just a virtue, it's a tax-saving strategy. Let's shift our focus to the fashion icon Giorgio Armani. Armani's savvy move involves establishing a foundation for charitable work. Beyond the positive impact on society, this move offers significant tax advantages. Charitable foundations often enjoy tax-exempt status, allowing Armani to contribute to causes close to his heart while reducing his tax liability. Now let's take a stroll down the fast food lane with Ray Kroc, the man who turned McDonald's into a global empire. Kroc's tax brilliance lies in the franchise model. By structuring McDonald's as a franchise, he minimized the company's corporate taxes. This strategic move not only fueled the growth of the iconic Golden Arches, but also kept more money in the corporate coffers. Next is the hip-hop legend Jay-Z. Beyond dropping chart-topping hits, Jay-Z is making waves in the business world. His tax-savvy approach involves diversifying his portfolio. From clothing lines like Roca Wear to investments in champagne brands, each business move isn't just for cultural influence, it's a strategic tax play. By exploring various industries, Jay-Z maximized deductions and minimizes tax liability. There you have it, the detailed breakdown of how these icons played the tax game. From electric cars to philanthropy, long-term investments, charitable foundations, franchise models, and diverse portfolios, these strategies are the real deal. Learn from the best, adapt their tactics, and who knows, maybe your financial story will be the next case study. Now let's talk about Compliance and Risks, the next topic from How to Reduce Taxes Like the Rich. First things first, staying on the right side of the law is absolutely non-negotiable. Think of it like driving on the road. You wouldn't want to risk a speeding ticket, right? So when it comes to taxes, it's all about playing by the rules. The tax man has rules, and trust me, he's not someone you want to mess with. Now imagine you're throwing a party. You send out invitations and only those on the list get in. Compliance is like the guest list for your tax party. Stick to it and you're golden. Stray from it and you might find yourself in a not-so-fun legal party with consequences. But hey, we get it. The tax code is about as thrilling as watching paint dry. That's why it's crucial to stay informed. It's like keeping an eye on the weather forecast. You wouldn't leave home without an umbrella if rain is on the horizon. Similarly, Keeping up with tax laws helps you avoid getting caught in a financial downpour. Now let's talk risks. Picture this, you're crossing a busy street. You'd look left and right, maybe even hold someone's hand. Taxes are no different. Ignoring compliance and taking unnecessary risks is like blindfolding yourself before crossing the street. It's a recipe for disaster. Just like any adventure, there are risks involved in the tax saving game. Some strategies might be too daring, leading you into the territory of audits and penalties. It's like trying to sneak snacks into a movie. If you get caught, you're facing consequences. Remember, the tax world is like a chess game. You've got to think several moves ahead. Dodging taxes isn't about being a sly fox. It's about being a strategic player. And just like in chess, 
one wrong move can change the entire game. So stay on the right side of the law, stick to the compliance guest list, keep an eye on the tax code forecast, and don't be the daredevil risking it all. Playing it safe may not sound as thrilling, but when it comes to taxes, it's the secret to a drama-free financial life. All right, guys, we've covered a lot today on how to reduce taxes to zero like the rich legally. We've unraveled the mysteries of tax reduction, and it's your turn to take charge of those finances. Don't let taxes rain on your parade. Let's keep those wallets smiling and those taxes in check. And remember, it's not about cheating the system. It's about mastering it. Now, if you are interested, get any audiobook of your choice for free using the link below the video. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate, and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.